Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Thrifty Lives and happy December 1st. I am so excited that December is finally here. I am ready to relax, enjoy December, um, participate in some of the things that I've planned and enjoy my grandkids and my mom and just really try to have a great holiday season and not stress because I stress so bad. <laughs> So, I am joining the um, December Daily, and um, Melody Maid and Mimi Would Love are doing a hashtag December Daily with us, and I think it's on Wednesdays. I am honestly not positive. They haven't posted yet today, and when they do, I will come back and leave more information and link their link their channels but this is my december daily i'm so excited so i am going to be ready to work on it and add my name and some thoughts i have and do december the first so one of the things i wanted to share with you is something i decided to do this year either i'm crooked or my hair's crooked or the ears are crooked you know I do that all the time. <laughs> so, I love Advent calendars. And um, I have to do one for myself. So, it's not much of a surprise if I fill it with, you know, stuff. I have a little house that has little drawers. And sometimes I'll go through and I'll put candy in it. Just, you know, because I enjoy it too. But this year, I was looking at Advent calendars on Amazon. And I came across this one. And this is Bon Mama, and it is a um, a jelly company. I love their gems and jellies. So they make an advent calendar, 2021 edition. I mean, look at the graphics on this. And the kitty under the tree. Look at the back. I mean, it is adorable. The back just tells you what was in it, but look at that. So this is the slip cover. And then it comes, oh, and it's heavy, like this. And you open it up, and it's got the 25 days countdown to Christmas. Look at the graphics on this. This is just stunning. I will be saving all this packaging and making like a journal for next year. So this year, um... I already did one this morning because I couldn't stand it. I was wanting to do it with my breakfast and the jelly this morning, and they're so adorable, these little tiny jars, is rhubarb strawberry, and it's a spread. As you can see, I've already eaten a bunch of it. Oh my goodness, it is so good. It's sweet, but not like too sweet. They make the most amazing jams and jellies if you're not familiar with them. I buy their um, mixed berry um, jam all the time and strawberry. Those are a couple of my favorites and those are usually easy to find. And then they come in these adorable jars with the gingham lids and I save, I save the jars and use them for all sorts of things. So, um, but anyway, look at how cute. I'm going to have 25 of these. I can hardly wait. So this was just delicious. Open it. You can see I used it on my jelly. On my jelly. I used it on my toast this morning. But um, I'm almost done with it. And then I want to do one every day. And um, if I don't actually use it for, for my breakfast, I'll just kind of save it for another day. But this is so exciting to me. I am so excited that I got this and it is it sells out like that it it just it's one of those really fabulous um so it has 24 mini fruit spreads and honey so I can hardly wait so because day one was a big hit so I will wait and see what day two brings and I think in my daily um my December daily I'll note each day when I try one, what I liked and what I didn't like, although I can't imagine not liking them. The other thing I wanted to share with you was a book I found the other day in a thrift shop. 
Um, you know, I, I live in Georgia, and this is called Christmas in Plains Memories by Jimmy Carter. And Jimmy Carter um, is from South Georgia um, in Plain, uh, Americas, uh, Georgia. And down there in Plains, Plains, Georgia, which is near Americas. I get it right. And, um, you know, my kids grew up you know, with, this was our Georgia president, you know, president of the United States. Sarah has met him. I think Blake has met him. Um, the grandkids, they were going to try to go. He does Sunday school classes and you can make a reservation and go to one of his Sunday school classes. Um, and, um, they were going to try to do that, but they haven't been able to do it yet. Um, and of course his health, he is, he is quite elderly and, um, his health, dictates sometimes he has to cancel and just can't do it but he is a very very um sweet kind and generous man um he may not have been the, the most productive president in the world but he he is a great humanitarian and just a really really great guy so um both sarah and blake grew up in south georgia and i just thought that they would enjoy this book so it'll be a little christmas gift to them a lovely and haunting piece of work that conveys with quiet passion the author's love for the place in which he grew up and where he says he expects to rest for eternity. And I'm sure he will. So that was kind of fun for me to find that. Um, I was really hoping when I opened it that it might be signed, but nah, you know, of course that would make it much more valuable. But um, anyway, so that is my December daily. I'm so excited to start. I will be writing what I thought of this yummy rhubarb strawberry spread. And I will be um, adding my thoughts for today. I'll be adding pictures to this journal. And I just, I'm so excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I feel like this is going to help me keep focused on Christmas and not all the craziness is what I say. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. I'm, um, I will come back later and link uh, Melody Made and Mimi with Love, their video when they put it up. But I needed to get this done because I have some chores I have to do. I have tons of boxes to haul off to the recycle. Um, <laughs> our recycling from our trash company. They are having so much trouble and they left a message that they will not be picking up this Friday and my living room is full of boxes. So I'm like, I'm hauling them off. So that's today's chore. So I will maybe talk to you tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to come on every day in December. I haven't really decided or no how that will go. But thank you so much for joining me and to those of you that are also doing December dailies, thank you so much. It's going to be so much fun to share. And don't forget, <clears throat> on Sundays, we're doing Gratitude Sunday. And um, I look forward to hearing your Christmas memories and things that, that um, are special to you in December. So sending lots of love. Bye now.